As the 2014 legislative session nears, lawmakers are reaching out to their constituents one last time. At a town hall meeting in Bemidji today, community members urge local representatives to take action on several local issues. Jamil Donath explains how the propane shortage was at the top of the list. Right now, I had to borrow money to be able to fill my tank. The propane shortage fueling the fire at a Bemidji town hall meeting. We have inadequate storage in this whole region. Believe me, I understand some of what you're talking about. Yeah. Bemidji was the second stop in a two-day tour for representatives John Purcell, Roger Erickson, and Senator Rod Scoy. It went from $1.30 to four thirty-five, so I, I, it's a real issue. A majority of residents raised concerns about the skyrocketing price of propane, urging the three lawmakers to include legislation into the 2014 session. This shortage uh, distribution problem of protein, propane has shown how badly we need everything. Purcell, Saxhog, and Erickson say at this point, one of the best ways to combat this propane shortage is by looking at alternatives like sustainable energy and natural gas. And we need to be sustainable, right? Our long-term sustainability is what we're shooting for. Lawmakers say they are looking to follow how North Dakota is currently utilizing its natural gas. To utilize natural gas, that will free up propane that can be used for home heating. Energy companies say if lawmakers fix the state's net metering, a refund program for energy alternatives, that would incentivize customers to wean off propane. It's going to take multiple levels of solutions, yes. and it's going to take a significant initiative to get it all done. But while political leaders agree this propane problem needs to be addressed, the disagreement is in how to solve it. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The two-day tour continues tomorrow. This is a bonding session, so many lawmakers say their focus is more on capital investments than passing bills. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.